Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. We give all praise and thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We give here alone deserve to be praised. Alhamdulillah. Uh, today, our lecture today will be about uh, artificial insemination. Uh, yeah. Uh, a sister of mine, that is one of my sisters, uh, asked a question by narrating a story to me. An incident goes like this. A, a religious sister. A religious sister got pregnant and the news gets to the religious leaders. So they decided to discipline her since she was not married. That is, she got pregnant without being married. Uh, when the elders met and interviewed her, she told them that she has stayed and remained single for several years and no one is marrying her. And she's approaching the age of menopause, where she can't get pregnant even if she gets married. That is, she can't get pregnant even if she's married, if she gets married. Uh, so after reading some religious uh, medical journals on this issue, she decided and did artificial insemination since she too wants a child. She turned out both the medical journals and the medical documents that showed that she has done the artificial insemination from a reputable hospital. The sister is pregnant without committing fornication or adultery with a man. The question is, could this be a sin or is this halal in Islam? My sister asked this question, that this, could this be a sin in Islam or is this halal in Islam? Um, first of all, I would like to like enlighten you about artificial insemination and uh, cr criteria for its use. Understand? Uh, in artificial insemination, a doctor inserts uh, the sperm directly into the cervix or fallopian tube, or let me say the uterus of the wife. The problem can be from the husband, that is the man, or from the wife, that is the woman. The artificial insemination is being used to help the sperm to reach the uterus for fertilization to take place. So, if you are desperate for a child, that you are desperately in need of a child, that is, you have been married for a very long time without having children. Uh, and you have tried all medical uh, medic medicals and you have tried all medicals, you understand? So you can uh, go for artificial insemination. That is, if you are married for a very long time and you have tried all medicals, you have tried your best medically, and you have tried all. Uh, Righteous way for you to get uh, pregnant, that is after marriage, then you can try artificial insemination. Provided the sperm is from the husband. Now, getting back to the question asked, the answer is no, it is not halal but haram. It is a sin because artificial insemination must be homogeneous to be halal and not uh, heterogeneous. It must be homogeneous, meaning taking uh, the sperm from the husband and inserting it into the uterus of the wife it makes it halal, makes it homogeneous. It must not be heterogeneous, that involve taking the sperm from another person, a third party, that is taking the sperm from someone that is not her husband or someone that is not married to her and inserting it in her uterus. This is not halal, but haram, because they are not married, and he is not halal. So, my answer to you, sister, and also ever watching me, is this question asked that uh, the woman uh, being pregnant without her getting married, is it halal or haram? Is it a sin or not a sin? My answer to you is that it is. It is haram. It 
is not halal. A uh, lot of people will be like, oh yeah, she doesn't have, uh, she, she didn't do uh, fornication or adultery or have sex with any man, but it is haram because take it as, as an example. But if she happened to uh, go into adultery or fornication or had a sex with a man who was not her husband and she got pregnant and she gave birth, she gave birth to the to the child. That child becomes an illegal child, right? So the same is the case. She's not married, but she got pregnant by uh, and by taking the sperm of someone else that she's not married to. So that makes the child to be an illegal child. It's just the same. So um, if it happens to be homogeneous then it is halal, it is not a sin. But if it is heterogeneous, that involves a third party, then it is haram, and it, it is a sin. So I hope I answered your question. So assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. See you next time, inshallah. For more videos, visit Din Hak Foundation. You are always ready, and you will always be. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.